Hi, thank you, uh, Dr. Catherine. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the manure variability study. So to start, uh, manure contains all the 17 essential uh, plant nutrients. This is going to make it an excellent natural fertilizer. So when it's applied uh, correctly, uh, these enhanced uh, soil health, it helps to boost crop yields and also uh, helps to reduce reliance on synthetic fertilizer, increasing agriculture sustainability. So uh, manure, we can say that it may be the key to building soil climate resiliency over the time. So I, uh, during this presentation, I want you to help me to build on this question. How viable is manure composition and how often should we measure it? Uh, for the manure variability study, we, uh, the manure was collected from the spreading or popping equipment to know the manure nutrient content during land application. Uh, the samples were collected uh, in a bucket and then we took three subsamples and we collect more than 250 uh, uh, 30 liquid manure samples to afterwards where uh, lab analyzed. And the sampling approach like employing both daily sampling events over multiple days, and also an intensive intensive sampling events every two hours in a select day. Uh, the investigation involved four, um, four near dairy farms, which manure samples were collected during the spring of 2023 and the spring of 2024. And each farm differed from one to another based on their manure management, we can say collection, the bedding they used, the treatment they, they had, the addition, even the animal types. We had lactin cows, we have dry cows, and heifers. So uh, what, we, uh, what we found. So in this part, uh, I'm showing you a graph where we see uh, nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, and potassium. And we find a large variability in nitrogen and phosphorus. Uh, in the y-axis, you're seeing the coefficient of variation, and this is a measure of how much variation uh, or spread there is in a set of data in comparing to, to the average, and this can show us how consistent our data is. For, so, as we expect, uh, we found less variability, less nutrient variability uh, uh, within the one day or the our intensive sampling events comparing to the uh, our daily events. And then intense sampling event, often the CVs were up to 12%. And the for the except for uh farm B24 and for the CVs for the daily sampling events, the CVs were up to 23%. As you can see, the narrows of we are showing samples where how the variability was like changing across the same the same part, but different something events during the days. So uh, in this one, what are we seeing? It's the, we wanted to show you like a close look up and how a farm looks like. So in this graph, we're in the Y axis, we are seeing the amount of nutrient uh, concentration or uh, applied per thousand gallons. And in the x uh, x axis, we are seeing the total of manure applied in this field. For example, in our x uh, x uh, axis, we're seeing that we start applying from two twenty five gallons till uh, nineteen fifty gallons of manure. So in the beginning, we can see that this trend of uh, variability. Up among the dry matter, the total nitrogen, and even the uh, the phosphorus, and this tells us that composition varied as the manure storage was being empty. Also, there was two days that we are pointing out that there was no agitation during in our uh, manure pit. So this tells us that agitation impacted nutrient composition. As so we can see, the variability went went down when the and these days were not were no agitation in it. And also the graph, we if we look at the dry matter, the phosphorus, and the uh, the total nitrogen, these trends uh, are followed by the dry matter content. 
So uh, for uh, conclusions, the study confirmed that the manure uh, nutrient composition and the variability during the land application differ both among farms and within different storage systems within the same farm. So the variability was also present over time within a storage units. Uh, this was particularly evident uh, in farm 24, uh, B24, uh, where the highest variability was observed due to the inconsistent storage agitation. So uh, we have like inconsistent agitation will lead us to uh, more variability on our manure. But on the other hand, if we have a consistent agitation and also uh, efficient transfer process or a good uh, manure management during our line application, this is going to help us. This is critical in minimizing nutrient variability. So for the question that we had in the beginning, we can say that yes, frequent manure uh, sampling is essential, and particularly when change in dry matter content or our pumping or transfer is occurring.